This is a video series for the CAT or Computer Application Technology Prac Exam or Paper 1 from November 2022 and we are on video 6 which is, means we are going to do some HTML in this video. So let's get to the HTML question. So here's question 6 which is the HTML question. You may not use a word processing program such as Word to answer. You can't use Word for this question but there is an HTML tag sheet at the bottom which you can use to reference it. So I'm going to show you we want to open the 6.1 Dolphin file. I'm going to show you how I do it. So when I've got my files over there, there's the file we want to open. So the first thing I do is we want to edit it. So I'm going to right click on it and edit it in Notepad++ because I've got that program. So I'm going to edit it in Notepad++. So there it's open and then I'm going to click on run and run it in Chrome because Chrome is on my computer, but you could use whichever one you want. So there it's open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this to this side over here and then I'm going to drag this to the other side so that I've got them both open on each side. So I can make changes over here, save and then see what the changes are. So that's how I set it up. So let's have a look at question 6.1. Complete, open the document. So let's go down to 6.1.1. Add an attribute to the body tag so that the whole web page will be displayed in a blue font color. So we've come over here, the body tag, there's an attribute, which means inside the body tag, and that is the text property. And that must be changed to blue, which we put in double quotes. Remember your attributes go inside of your tag and attribute name equal to whatever the value is in double quotes. You're going to save, come to our HTML file, refresh, and there you can see the text is now in blue. Next question, 6.1.2, add tags to make the text, did you know, display as a level 2 heading. If I scroll down here, you can see 6.1.2, that text needs to be a level 2, which means it's an H2 type of tag, which means that's when it starts and we must close the H2 tag there. Always click on your tags, you see that they go purple if you're using Notepad++, and then you know that you've entered it correctly. So let's save it and refresh, and there you can see, did you know, is now a level 2, slightly smaller than that. 6.1.3, format the text that starts with Dolphin Coast and ends with year-round climate change as shown in the screenshot. So let's go up here and let's have a look. So we want that text. It looks like it's in bold. So this whole text must be in bold. So I'm going to put a B tag over here to start the bolding process. And then at the end of it, we will close the bolding process. And let's save and refresh. Boom. And there you can see that it has changed appropriately. 6.1.4, create a link to an email address as shown at the bottom of the web page. There's the web page. That's the email address. So let's go look at what we've got. They've already got the text there. So all we want is the email to actually go to that particular email address. Now to do that, we are going to use a, a tag, which is an anchor tag. So we're going to put an anchor around the email address. So I'll put an A there. I'm actually going to put this on a new line so you can see it a bit better. And then the end of the email address will be the close because we only want the actual email address to be the link. So we've got that and now we want it to have the property and that's href is equal to what website it must go to or what link it must go to. Now this is an email address which means we wanted to email it. So when you've got an email address we can just put the email address in there. If it was a website, it would just work like that. But a little trick, if you actually wanted to open up in an email provider, like as an email box where the address has already been filled in, you can actually put the word mail to in front of it with a colon. And now that link will be an email link, which means when you click on it, it'll open up a box with an email with that address in the to field. So you can do that. I think that wouldn't be strict if you left that out. As long as you had the href field going to the website, I think you should be fine. But just so that you are aware that if it's an email address, you can use the mail to in front of it okay so there we go so let's save it and we're going to click refresh on our page and you can see that the website address is still there but if i put my mouse over it, you can see that there's an address for it to go to mail to that particular email address and that's the end of that question we can save it and now we're going to use question 6.2 heritage so i'm going to open that up exactly like we did this one so i've opened up the website for 6.2 and there is the code for 6.2 let's get to the question the question is open the incomplete 862 heritage web page in the browser complete the page to look exactly as shown below do they give me any information no no information we just wanted to make it look like this okay so let's see what we can do there are nine marks for this question so maybe there are nine one mark will be allocated for correctly closing tags so there's one mark for that and then i think eight changes are probably what we're going to need to do so let's start off let's go have a look and see what we can find so first of all we've got 
our headings are perfect. The problem is this picture. This picture is a problem. So if I look at the code for the picture, you see it's six underscore flamingo.bmp. Now, if I go to the data files, you'll see that there is a flamingo picture, but it's dot JPEG. If you can't see the file extensions, then you can right click on the picture, go to properties, and then you can see what the type of the picture is. This is dot JPG. So we're going to change that extension there to JPG. I'm going to save it and come over here and refresh our image. And there we can see our image is already being displayed correctly. So that's the first thing that we've changed. Now let's look at the next thing. So there's a table over there. We can see what the table looks like. Our table looks like that. So let's look at what the code is. So we come here to the table. There's the table. Just something I've picked up here. Take note that it says here, note the background color of the table is beige. So we can't see it because obviously it's in black and white. So that's something to be aware of. At the moment, there's no background color. So we're going to say BG color. I think that's the property for the background color is equal to beige. And we're going to put it in double quotes like that. Make sure that you spelled beige correctly. I think beige is spelled like this. So that's beige. Let's save it and look at our example it is so there we go you can see a light little beige color at the back there that's great now we've done that now what's the next one that we want to change let's look at this table and then look at our one and you'll notice that that first cell crosses over three columns you see this first cell is merged over three columns if you look below it is one two three columns so it's going to span over three columns that's that 10 joules so we're going to come over here and say that 10 joules one that td is going to go call span equal to three it's spanning over three columns save it and then see how it spans over three there we go so that's a lot better so it spans over three now there's something wrong over here so that block over there is spanning over one two three four rows so it's, those are rows that block is being merged over four rows so we don't want it to look like that we want it to be spread over those four rows so we're going to go to that lake saint lucia which is over there lake saint lucia we're going to make that a row span equal to four because it's spanning over four rows so let's save it and refresh and there we go you can see it's nicely spread out now across those ones so i think that is correct and i think if you look here you see how the 10 joules is in the middle that's not in the middle so we might have to center this particular block so let's go to this block where we've got jewels of wetland park and we want to center it so i'm going to say this cell is going to be a line equals center so if we put that in the TD and it's save and it's refresh, there we go. So that's nasty spread out. So I think that looks good for the table. I don't see anything else that needs to be changed. So let's move on to the next bit. Okay, so here we can see the bulleted list. You see there's a area squared and then there's reference. There's a random bullet here that is not needed. So we need to delete that particular one. So let's go get rid of that one. So I'm going to come here to the list and the reason why there's a random one do you see that each of these go purple because they close except for that second one why because that second one doesn't actually close so i think that's the mistake that needs to close do you see how they all go purple now that's the first thing that should solve the missing one if i press that so there we go I got rid of the missing one but if you look at the the diagram you see that's an open circle which means it's like what we call it a circle if it was a disc it would be colored in we want just a circle so to do that we need to change the type property of the ul tag but you'll notice there is no ul tag they just went straight into the bullet so we actually need a ul tag here because it's an unordered list and we're going to say the type is equal to circle and we're going to close our list over here so they didn't do the whole actual ordered or unordered list they just went straight away with the bullet list items so let's save that and let's refresh there we go so that looks a lot better so i think it's lined nicely it's got the circles i think that looks much better and we've got our ul tags that corrected that's great so let's further go further down and i think that's all so i think we've done we've done one change we changed that we put in ul tags that's two we put that that's three in our table we did four five six seven changes and then the image was eight that's eight so i think we've got all eight changes if you looked at the question it says nine but one is for closing tags Directly. so i think that's all the eight changes so there we go so i think we've done with that particular question i don't see anything else that we can do so there's the html done we can now save everything and now let's move on to the final question do you see that subscribe button do us a favor and click on it and share us with your friends so we can help them as well leave a like leave a comment we'd love for you to give us information that we can help you with and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way